I love my horror films. Any horror movie fans in here? Any yeah. horror movie fans? I love horror movies, man. I think the best horror movies were made back in the 70s and the 80s because they were actually scary, you know? Modern day horror films aren't that scary, but there is something else disturbing about them. There's a lot of classism in horror movies now because you always see a ghost in a big house. <laughs> it's like a ghost won't haunt you unless you got four bedrooms and a new build. <laughs> and you know ghosts talk about that, right? You know two ghosts will walk down the road like, yo, should we go and haunt that family? <laughs> Don't be silly, they're renting. <laughs> Their lives are scary enough. <laughs> One month's deposit, two in advance, Ooh, give me nightmares. <laughs> you never see a ghost on a council estate, do you? <laughs> About it. You have never heard of anyone being haunted on a council estate. Do you know why? Because if you live on a council estate, a ghost isn't the scariest thing you're going to see. You live on a council estate, you walk past a ghost like, yo, what's up, G? You all right? How's the family? Oh, I forgot they were brutally murdered. Stay positive, brother. Stay positive. I was watching this paranormal documentary, right? It was set in Middlesbrough, Northeast England. It was about this woman. She said that 10 o'clock every night for a year and a half, a ghost will turn up to her house and start talking to her, right? She tried priests, exorcists, could not get rid of the ghost for a year and a half. So you know what she done? She started talking to the ghost. <laughs> then her and the ghost became friends. <laughs> then she went around saying the ghost got her pregnant, right? <laughs> now, this is the bit that made me laugh. When she told the ghost she was pregnant, the ghost left. I don't give a shit if you laugh, that's funny, come on, come on. You're gonna be a dad, no I'm not love, no I'm not, come on. All right, let's move on man, fuck it, let's move on. That's my favorite one, I'm sorry man, that's my favorite. I grew up on a council estate, it's hard to scare me. You know, how many of you remember the movie uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger? Yeah. Freddy Krueger killing kids in their dreams and they'll die in real life. You'd have kids waking up in the night in the movie, running to their parents. Mom, there's a man in my dreams trying to kill me. And in the movies, the parents would console them all night long. <laughs> Not my mom. <laughs> I wake up at one in the morning. Mom, there's a man in my dreams trying to kill me. My mom would look at me like, boy, you don't go back to sleep. There's gonna be a woman trying to kill you while you're awake. <laughs> How many of you remember the movie Saw? Did anyone watch that movie Saw? Yeah. If you haven't seen it, crazy man named Jigsaw puts people in these contraptions where they have to nearly kill themselves to escape. He doesn't go and see them. No, no, no. He sends a little puppet on a tricycle wheeling in with his voice inside. The puppet looks at the victims and says that classic line, I want to play a game. If that was on a council estate, that little puppet would walk in like, has anyone seen my bike? <laughs> I'm not playing games, it was outside, where's... <laughs> the Blair Witch Project, you remember the Blair Witch Project? A witch that kidnaps kids, takes them out to the woods and kills them. Let the Blair Witch kidnap some feral council estate kids. <laughs> Two weeks later, that witch will be pregnant. <laughs> oh, is that another one you're on the fence with? Is that another one, yeah? You pick and choose, man, I'll pick and choose. How many of you believe that a house can be haunted? Give me a cheer. I need to know, right? I need to know what the person doing the haunting done while they were alive. Does that make sense? Like if they used to be a, an ax murderer when they were living, then their ghost might scare me. But if they used to be a plumber or an accountant, what the fuck, right? And I'm only bringing it up because near where I live, there's a flat no one's been able to rent out for 12 years because rumor has it, 12 years ago, a crackhead was murdered in this flat and everyone's saying the crackhead's ghost is haunting the place, right? Now, what is the worst thing a crackhead's ghost can do to any of us? One night you're laying in bed, you hear a voice whisper in your ear, I'll suck your dick for a fiver. <laughs> is that gonna put any of you off a prime piece of real estate, is it? Anyway, I moved in last week and <laughs> I wake up smiling every day, people, smiling every day. I can't wait for another lockdown, I can't wait. You look genuinely disgusted with that joke, young lady. You, you guys